Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another DIY video today. And uh, you notice I'm doing a DIY video inside for a change and that's because I was looking at some of my previous ones and I decided that the lighting in the workshop is not the greatest for making a video. It's great for working, like when I work I can see well, but it doesn't always come out the greatest on the video. Let's go try something different today. Now this particular concept for today's video, it goes back quite some time back to last summer when I was doing my Kazoo Friday series and I was posting all these videos about different things I was doing with kazoos and I made a couple electric kazoos and, and one of my subscribers had posted a comment and said you should try to make an electric kazoo with a psycho knob built in and I was like oh my gosh that's a great idea and I started thinking about it and I was really kind of mulling it over and I was like how am I gonna do that and I did that well kinda let me show you here. This is the prototypes. You can see I took one of these jumbo kazoos, put a pickup across the top, drilled a hole in the side of the tower here so that the membrane can still move. And I actually managed, maybe you can see this there, I actually managed to cram a psycho knob, the whole thing, inside of the body of the kazoo. And of course I didn't have room for the battery so I put an AC jack on the bottom so you could plug it in. And uh, you know, I just wired it up to the psycho knob. So this is basically a fully functional kazoo with the psycho knob inside. But the reason I said this was a prototype is because it doesn't work. And let me show you why. Something I didn't think of. Now I realize that this has been made electric so it's never gonna be as high a volume, but maybe you can hear, maybe you can't hear. There's no vibration of the reed. So the psycho knob board and knob and all of that that, that I put in there, restricted the airflow enough that when you hum into it, it no longer makes any noise. So this is worthless. So it was a great idea. I love, you know, I was so, so excited about the idea, but it don't work. So that's now relegated to the junk pile, but I came back for round two and I saved us some time by doing a few things off camera. You can see what I did here. I took one of the jumbo kazoos, and you can see by the part that's not painted here that this was a green one. And I found this little project box, and you can see by the part that's not painted that this was black. And um, I put them together like this so that I can put the psycho knob in the box and have room for the psycho knob and the jack and the battery inside the box and still not have to restrict the kazoo in any way, shape, or form. So the prep that I did off camera, I painted all of this gold, as you can see, just because I figured as long as I'm doing something this ridiculous, why not just make it metallic gold? So I did that, and then I attached the box to the body. Maybe you can just see there's a couple screws in there to the kazoo, and then I drilled a hole. Maybe you can see there's a hole there, and I'm not sure if this is gonna show up. There's a hole there on the bottom. So that's where the wire will go through for the pickup when I put that on. And then I drilled holes in the side here to mount the jack and the psycho knob. And uh, you might notice that those holes are at different heights. That's on purpose because uh, the psycho knob needs a different amount of clearance than does the jack. So that's not a mistake, that's on purpose. And that's pretty much the prep work that I've done to kind of get this ready. So today, I'm gonna wire this baby up and see if we can make a psycho knob kazoo. Here it is. It's the Psycho Knob Kazoo. As you can see, I put a little chrome, uh, um, you know, knob off of a Telecaster on here just to kind of top it off. And I mean, just look at this thing. This thing is absurd. Um, but you know what? It's also really, really cool. Other than that, I basically shortened the input wire, went to the piezo here, insulated it with some hot glue, and I shortened the output wire and that went to the jack. Pretty simple um, once you get the, the little box added to the bottom of the kazoo. But you know what? You don't want to hear me keep talking about this. You want to hear what it sounds like. So if you're not familiar with the Psycho Knob, it's got five different settings. The first one is bypass, and then it has four different tone settings in there that all uh, relate to different forms of distortion. So I've got my cigar box amp over here. I'm going to, oh, we can already hear. Maybe you can't, but I certainly can. 
Um, so this should be the bypass position. Hopefully you can hear that. It's certainly amplifying out of the amp. So let's go to the first position, which is the lightest distortion. Alright, up one more. One more. Oh, we're getting some feedback. Oh, and here, here goes, here goes the big one. Obviously, I would need to get a better arrangement here than having the amp blasting right back in to the kazoo to really use that effectively, but maybe if it was plugged into a recording interface and doing something like that. In fact, let's try that now. So there you go, folks. There's a crazy idea come to life. The Psycho Knob Jumbo Kazoo. This is one of those things where you just have to say, why not? Some musical mad scientist stuff, I don't know. Anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.